What's going on everybody? This is Ricardo with Parts People. Today, we're gonna to talk about motherboards on the 7610. Now, there's two reasons why you might be doing this, to upgrade your CPU or integrated graphics card, or your motherboard might not be working at all. For example, our friend right here likes to make videos for TikTok, but her render times are crazy slow, crazy slow. So upgrading her motherboard will give her a faster GPU, which means faster render times, which means more TikTok videos. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever it is, stay right there and we'll go through it. Parts people tutorials, upgrade or repair your Dell. Need the part? Find it here. All right. <laughs> Whew. All right, let's talk tools. I used a Philips number one for this repair. If you don't have one and you need one, I'll leave a link for this as well as your Dell replacement parts down below. Oh yeah, and another thing, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if this video helped you out or possibly even changed your life. I think it might even help us out with the YouTube algorithm robots. I'm not sure. We appreciate it. All right, now let's get into it. First, unscrew and gently pry apart the bottom base cover. Then unscrew, disconnect, and then lift out the battery. Now use your fingers to separate the tabs and gently slide out the memory sticks. And now for the M.2 solid state drives, just unscrew and pull out the mounting bracket assembly. If you have dual solid state drives, just do the same for both. Now unscrew and remove the bracket and then disconnect the wireless antennas. Real quick, I just want to mention that I referenced the Dell owner's manual when I performed these repairs. You might have found a way that works better and faster for you, so if you did, Tell us how you did it below, spread the knowledge. For the left and right fans, you'll just unscrew and disconnect them both the same way. Then loosen the captive screws to the heatsink and lift it out. Now disconnect the motherboard cables using a plastic scribe or your fingertip to unclip them where necessary. Then unscrew and lift out the motherboard. Okay, you've gotten this far and you're still having issues, what do you do? You can always reach out to us for diagnostics, repairs, upgrades, or anything else Dell related. We've specialized in Dell laptops for over 20 years, so if you need anything at all, link is... Now for the reinstallation of your motherboard, simply follow the steps in reverse. If you still need to purchase your replacement part, click here to visit our site and find it. And while over there, you can view our printable instructions that include images to help you along the way. And also don't forget, we have more playlists here, so keep checking back. I do read your comments, so leave any questions you have for me down below. Thanks for watching.